What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? You got this. You know what this is. I know what it is. We got some mezcal. We got mezcal. From Oaxaca. From Oaxaca, yes. Not Oaxacan. No, I know not Oaxacan. No, no Oaxacan. Oaxaca, Oaxaca, Mexico. This is Vamos Riendo. Vamos Riendo. What does that mean? Let's go laughing. I like to laugh. I do I like, like to a good laugh. laugh. But it hurts. It really hurts. I, I think I think sometimes it does. It does. It but does it hurts bit. so good. So this is handcrafted, triple distilled, mountain mezcal. Mountain mezcal. So oh, the Tobala is growing for 14 years at 6,000 feet above sea level, where there's more vari variation yes. in temperature from day to night, creating a natural stress that results in more intense flavors in the heart of the maguey, the piña. The maguey. They select the Espadin from the high altitudes of Santiago Matatlan. What was it? The high altitudes of Santiago Matatlan. Matatlan? Okay. Matatlan. And I apologize for my pronunciations of everything. I thought you said you took Spanish. I did. I didn't say I took it well. Uh, well oh, yeah, yeah. The Maestro Mezcalero is Ambrosio Martinez. His five senses are the instruments used to measure each step of the artisanal process. They roast the maguey in underground stone pits to minimize deforestation, and they use remnants of black and white oak to fire the pits in the copper stoves. Mm. They ferment naturally in white oak casks by utilizing the ambient yeasts and the environment surrounding the pelicates. So this is inspired by pachuca style mezcals that are meant to celebrate births, weddings, holidays, and other significant events. So there's a chicken involved? The maestro adds fruit to the still and performs a third distillation. Mm. This is the most celebrated Mezcal of the Year, having been judged double gold and the Mezcal Distillery of the Year by the New York International Spirits Competition, and it received a platinum medal, not bronze, silver, or gold, but platinum, mm. at the LA Spirits Awards. Nice. So this should be uh, pretty good. Should knock our socks off. Pretty good. Knock our sombreros off. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, wait, hold on. Let's do that again. Better, Ready, right? Better. Uh-oh. Ah, anyway. oh, that's pretty. Okay. Cheers. Very nice. And I'm looking to see what this comes in at. This is 42%. Okay. We've had some like some high test ones. We've had some super high test ones. This feels decidedly lighter than the other ones, but it's also lower in ABV. But I'm getting like chocolatey notes. A little vegetation. I'm getting a little bit of smoke. Not heavy on smoke though. I'm getting like a, I'm getting like a chocolatey note though. Yeah. Like, like, a, like a little cocoa nib. Yeah. Cocoa. Like Pasco. I was expecting a little bit of like a, some fruit notes or some floral yeah. notes or something. I'm really not getting much. Maybe that'll come through in the palate. The nose is a little smoky and a little chocolatey for me. Yeah. A little meaty. Smells wonderful. A little meaty. Like a, little, like, a, like, a, like a Hillshire Farms. A little bit of that. Oh. We can do better than that, can't we? I'm just saying like that kind of like... Can we get some that Jimmy has, Dean? That has, a, just... that has a, a, a distinct aroma. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I guess I could see that. Like breakfast meats is what you're saying. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. A little chorizo? How about a little chorizo? Sure. Why not? It smells good. I like the smell. Now, are you growing to like mezcal? I know you were afraid of the mezcal for a while. Well, first of all, we drink so many things now. I'm like two steps from just drinking paint thinner. <laughs> that we need to perhaps rein in our range. Nah. Why? But why? Why? I, I don't like to review things that I don't feel like I have a grasp of. Well... And now... We're getting more exposure to this, so I feel like I'm getting a better grasp. Well, here's the thing. My, my feeling is that what we're doing, you know, and I've said it before, we're not we're not consumer reports. This is a freshly opened bottle. We've never had this before. It's first impressions. It's just you know, it's it's our experiences with it, more so than anything else. I would, so take this review with a grain of salt. These are our first impressions. We might like it more. We might like it less down the line. But this is what we think of it right now. I would just like to not come off as someone that has no idea what they're doing. I mean, I have no idea what I'm you doing. you got to start somewhere. I just don't want to come off that way. You have to start somewhere. This is very smoky. What, on the, on the palate? On the palate. Yeah. Very smoky. I mean, not like a, an Isla, <laughs> but it's, mm. it's uh, like a wood smoke as opposed to like a peat smoke or something. Yeah. Get no, I get it. It's not offensive. It's just I'm getting that as like the first and the last note. It's almost like a really light barbecue, yeah. like almost like a little mesquite yeah. kind of thing going going on. That's that's pretty nice. Mm. I gotta say, that is very nice. I'm getting the mesquite of the mezcal. Mm. It's not much alcohol mm -mm. up front. 
not much of a burn. Really just a good barbecue flavor altogether. It's nice. Very nice. Um, a little licorice note. If this was at a little bit higher alcohol Yeah, I'm content, curious what it would be like. I, I think that would probably be something that you'd mm. sit around and think, oh, this is a sipper. As Ooh. it is now, it's very it's nice. It's a sipper right now. It's very nice. Well, what I there's, like... There's no burn. There's no, there's no finish, really, to me. Mm, it's, um, it's it's light in the finish. It's the yeah, it, it's light, light but it's there. It's light. Like I get a little bit of that again. Mm. Again, that I think that mesquite or whatever that smoky flavor is lingers for a while. There's a little bit of chocolate, maybe a little bit of licorice. Mm. You know, uh, I'm gonna go back a little more. Can I go back a little more. I'm not getting a lot of the fruit notes that I. Chill your mezcal. No, I think, it. I think so. Chill your mezcal. Mm. Um. Maybe like a little, maybe like a little grilled pineapple. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like a little bit of pineapple. Like a like a fruit you'd throw on the grill. Yeah, I have grilled pineapple. Mm. Oh, you know what I want now? Pineapple. You know what I want? And I don't have it. Tacos al pastor. <sighs> oh, so good. Why don't you just talk about all the great things you just don't uh, have? Thanks for nothing. Oh, little taco al pastor. Because it's got that little like smoky meat. Then you got that little bit of pineapple drippings. You know, with a little bit of chocolate on the back end. That's that's pretty damn good. I like that. That's a sipper, my friend. That's a nice that is a sipper. Yeah. Beautiful bottle, by the way. Oh, you just look. Just look at the look, artwork. Just the artwork is just beautiful. I think it's painted on too, right? All the way around. Is it painted on? All the way around. That's nice. Well, it feels like it's painted on. Yeah, it's very pretty. All it's not. A, it's not a plastic label. It's on there. No. All the way around. That's cool. That's very cool. That is a nice packaging. Nice. It's. An odd width of a bottle. Yeah, it it's, takes a little space. Well, it's just different. It's a bottle you're not going to see anywhere else. Right. It's not a. You're, right. it, it, oh, we're mass produced this. Yeah, no, you know? no, no, no. That's beautiful. They, they put a lot of time and thought into the packaging it's and the beautiful. bottle size. Everything about it's, you know. Ah, where's the bottle? It's certainly an A. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Um, I'm just, not going to say it's the best mezcal I ever had. I just, yeah, we just but it's had. Just very, just very good. Had that I much think it's, it's very good. Very easy drinking. And I think from the, again, the little experience we've had. Mm. I think I like mezcal better than tequila. It's got more body. Yeah. I think it's got more complexity yeah. to it. I think I like more uh, the mezcal. Like when we talked to uh, our dear friend Dawn oh. from the Whiskey Exchange, yep. and she was talking about like the, uh, the the one one of our favorite distilleries is coming out with a mezcal cask and a and a tequila cask. I won't mention any names, but you know that's that was her thing too. It's like the mezcal has a little more complexity. Yeah. The the tequila has more of a vegetal. Yeah. You know, more of a green yeah. kind of quality yeah. to it. It doesn't have, I don't think it has the depth of mezcal. Yeah. I think, but I think it's just the process. Yeah. Because these, the piñas or whatever they're called, is it the magway? Is that what yeah. the thing is? The magways are smoked. Oh. They're steamed for, for tequila. It's just a different process. It's a little different process. Yeah. So, but, but I, I think I like the complexity of mezcal. It's really nice. And for the longest time, mezcal had that whole thing with the worm, right? Yeah. That was actually the thing with the yeah. worm. And it didn't have a good rep. No. No. But that's because we didn't know anything about it. Yeah. Tequila didn't have a good rep either. Yeah. No now one. it's now it's just and know. now I think they make them for they're not just bottom shelf cocktails you know they no, make them finely drinking. crafted stuff for drinking and uh, I checked and one of the local places around here this bottle will cost you about sixty two bucks hmm. which I think it's a good deal that's not bad at all no that's nice that's, that's nice you know what it almost tastes like I'm talking about not, I'm working on a little long but with the whole smoke thing it's almost like a young Isla. Yeah, you or, know, like uh, a variation or, or, or um, uh, the Texas whiskeys, the uh, oh, like the, the Balcones, like almost like a Balcone new make. Yeah, Balcone, yeah, you know, it's like that. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Again, horse of different color. It's yeah. just good stuff. Very good. So, sir, I enjoyed it. I, I give it. I, I give it an A. It's yeah. really, really good. It deserves the praise. It's a very delicious, it's a delicious nice. mezcal. And again, not going to say it's the best one I ever had, but right here, right now, this is pretty damn delicious. Good stuff. It's very good, sir. Cheers. Cheers.